Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to attach a file to an invoice. Now, sometimes when you raise an invoice and send it to a customer, you might need to attach or send the customer supporting documentation that supports the invoice. So then you might, you'll send out your invoice asking for, you know, a particular sum of money for the services provided or the goods provided, but you might need to provide backup information from where the numbers come from. So for instance, if you had a great big list of things, um, I don't know, like maybe there was some time sheets or um, different parts of a job that were worked on in some kind of project and it just didn't really fit adding it all into the zero invoice template or it was just becoming, um, you know, too or unworkable, I guess, in the invoice itself and you wanted to keep the invoice nice and simple but attach a piece of supporting documentation to the invoice to support that, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we go to new invoice, so of course you can go to new sales invoice here, but we'll go through the menu and I'll show you the, the long way if you like, or you know, the menu way, so you know exactly where to find it. So here it is, sales overview and going to go new invoice. Oh, let's just pick an existing customer so it's not confusing. Capital, oh, we'll go Carlton Technical Books. All right, project. Whatever the project might be called and you're sending them $1,000 on your invoice plus GST, so we prove that with a due date, of course. Okay, so we've got our invoice here. Now, we can't just send them this as it is because we know they're gonna ask for more detail on where the $1,000 comes from. So what we need to do here is click this little icon here for an attachment and we're going to go upload file. Now all the detail that we use to create our invoice is kept in a spreadsheet that we have. So we're going to add this spreadsheet here and here it is supporting invoice, supporting info for invoice and we'll go open. There it is. And then we can just click outside the box here and we can see that's your supporting info. And you can click on it to open it up. Then when we go to send it, we click on email like normal. If we just send it as is, it's not going to send the attachment. To send the attachment that we just included up here, the supporting info, we need to tick this box here, include files as attachments. And then when we click this box, it'll send an attachment that we just uploaded along with the invoice. You might also have include PDF attachment. So if you have these two boxes ticked, it's gonna have a copy. They're gonna get the email with a link to the invoice that they can click on and go through and have a look online. They're also gonna get an attachment of the actual invoice and they're also going to get an attachment of the supporting info, the Excel doc that we just uploaded and then you can click send. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple but from time to time, depending on your supplier, depending on the job, you may need to attach supporting documentation to your invoices rather than sending a separate email with your attachments there and then them having to go into the email match it up to the invoice, it's a lot of work for them, it's more work for you as well. If you can have it all in one place here, it's nice, quick, simple, easy for everyone. So that's pretty much it guys. 
Now, if you want to book in a training session, hit us up in the link in the description. We can help you with whatever it needs to be when it comes to zero. So let us know what you're having trouble with, whether you've got some beginners there or whether you just have a few things in particular not sure of or just how to use zero um, in a you know specifically for your business or industry we can help you with that so hit us up and we'll see what we can do but other than that thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one